Hello everyone, my name is Matey GM, and I am a New Zealander. New Zealanders are really cool because they have access to such great things as the best fish and chips in the world, Mordor, and sheep. So today I will be teaching you how to become a New Zealander. We will be focusing on the old style New Zealanders because the new ones listen to a style of music that I can't stand for more than 10 seconds before internally and externally combusting. There are many benefits to being an old Zealander, such as being immune to cold. Did you know that every single Old Zealander who went to school before the year 1987 had to wade through 4 foot of snow every day with no shoes for 16 miles there and back, while carrying a 10 ton backpack full of books, the one ring from Lord of the Rings, several kilograms of illegal contraband and a fully automatic assault rifle for the sake of fighting off the vicious beasts that plagued the New Zealand landscape? You'd never see a New Zealander doing that, it's a lost art. In case you guys haven't seen it, the Four Off Lats comic strip contains the most prominent example of an Old Zealander I can think of in Wall Foot Rot. The plucky New Zealand farmer and the best example I can think of of an old Zealander. Today we will be learning how to be just like him in a few simple steps. First off, outfit. You must dress correctly as an old Zealander, it's almost like a uniform. The old Zealander must own a black or navy singlet, it can't be any other colour, especially not a lighter shade. That would be unpatriotic. Actually, I'm wrong there. Owning one is unacceptable. You must have at least five, one for every working day of the week, plus perhaps a few for the weekends, and of course, the special occasion singlet. You must always wear a singlet at all times, in the hot, in the cold, in the sea, in the desert that we don't have. The only time that you may take the singlet off is to change into another singlet. Number two, you must own a sun hat. Now it can't be a cap or a top hat or any of that shit. What I like to call the hat style is the floppy fedora, as shown on screen. You must wear this outside even if the sun is remotely visible. You could have one slight glimpse of the sun in the middle of a winter storm and that's it, you've got to wear the hat, it's as simple as that. Actually, come to think of it, moonlight is just reflected sunlight, so you'd better wear the hat at night time as well. Can't risk being sunburned. The benefits of wearing this hat is a complete immunity to the sun's rays. You could have sunburnt your legs, arms, and stomach to hell. Nowhere that your hat could actually protect you from, and an old Zealander would still blame your sunburn for you not wearing a hat. And they'd be completely right, what the fuck are you doing? The final two pieces of equipment you will need is your farmer shorts and most importantly, your gumboots. The old Zealander will always wear his gumboots. He could arguably afford to lose the shorts, or lose the hat if he wants to be burnt to death, but those gumboots must be worn every second that he is outside. Now you may be thinking, but me TGM, the old Zealander used to walk to school barefoot. How did they wear gumboots then? Well it's simple. In New Zealand, when you graduate from Old Zealand school, you don't get anything dumb like credentials or a diploma or anything like that. You get your gumboots and the official permit to call yourself an Old Zealander. The uniform is the easiest way to identify a certified Old Zealander and know you're in the presence of greatness. The next way to be an Old Zealander is to learn to speak like one. For example, the word friend no longer exists in your vocabulary. Every single friend you have is now your mate. The show Friends had to legally rebrand over here to mates because it just couldn't gain traction. No one over in New Zealand knew what they were talking about because it's such a foreign word to us. Another point is that the word hello, sup, or any other form of greeting is also irrelevant. The only way to greet an old Zealander is with the phrase, g'day. No, you can't use good day, that's far too British. You must use g'day with the exact contraction. This will let your new mate know that you're speaking their language and they are safe to communicate with you because you know what they're talking about. The final word to know is less of a phrase and more of a gift to humanity. We've all been in awkward situations where one of our mates is upset and we've had no idea what the hell to do. Well, if we just followed the way of the old Zealanders, we'd know every single time. The best way to reassure an upset person is the simple phrase, she'll be right. Not, she'll be alright, just, she'll be right, as opposed to, he'll be left. This is like the harmony spell from Skyrim. Everyone in Old Zealand within a 500 yard radius just instantly calms down and feels good about their lives if anyone even whispers this phrase. What is wrong mate? My wife left and took the kids. She'll be right mate. Oh thanks mate I feel much better about my life. I'm not completely sure why, but I'm not a true Old Zealander. I mean, look at me. Does that look like a singlet to you? That concludes this helpful tutorial to becoming an Old Zealander, the greatest form of life on the planet. I hope that you all learned something from this video, and if you found it useful, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more epic videos.